Blackjack. Hear my speaking, be quiet. Ain't fucked on a nigga, he lying. Ain't tryna hustle, don't come outside. If I said it, I want it, it's mine. Late nights, don't sleep, I grind. On top, no falling. I'm sorry. I was in a hair depression. That's all I can say to you. But, um, as y'all can see by the title, I'm doing a story time and I know y'all gonna like it because it got clips. I'm in certain clips. So, before we get right into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I post. Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, you know the bread is coming right. You know I come correct. So y'all might as well just hit it. Did you hit it? Alright, bet. So, I should talk right into this video. I'm going to just start out saying, we are, we met in high school. Ninth grade. And you know, we just quit. We became real close, started calling each other sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Why each other parents, all that. Bada ding, bada boom. So, we did everything together. Now, let me tell y'all, let me give y'all a name for her. Sonia. Okay. So, me and Sonia was real close. We did everything together. And, me and I did everything go. And this boy that I also was close cool with, we gonna name him um Deep. So me and Deep was close. So you know Sanaya and Deep was around each other because I was around Deep. And at the time, Deep friend, we gonna call my Sarah. So, you know, Deke and Sanaya start getting fond of, each, fond of each other. And me and Nasir start getting fond of each other. Damn, that was awesome. But, so, you know, every time we would link up, it would be like two two situation, right? Okay, cool. Mind you, Deke had a girlfriend at the time. We gonna call a deep girlfriend Jamie. So Deep was still messing around with Jamie while messing around with Sanaya. But Sanaya knew what was going on. She knew the whole time. But she just kept falling for him. And you know, being as though me and Deep was close, I would say, we called each other brother and sister. Um I wasn't, wasn't really trying to get in the middle of it. And off the fact that Sanaya knew, I really didn't feel like I needed to put my opinion in Because she's going to do what she want to do regardless. Okay, so. So. After a while, I had. Okay, after a while, Sanaya started. Acting crazy. I'm gonna just put it like that. She was not only messed with Deke, another one of his friends is, we gonna call him Jamir. You know, Nasir, Deke, and Jamir all knew each other. They all knew each other. They all was cool. I've been new, Jamir. Like, since, like, back in middle school, I've been new him. So, basically, like, yeah, so hopefully y'all can do the math. That's how I ended up meeting Deke, and then Deke was how I met Nasir, because I already knew Jamir from back in middle school. Cool, boom. So, mind you, Sanaya messed around with Jamir. Wow. Well, not too long before she started messing with Deke. So, you know, being as though they're friends, in my head, I'm like, they gotta know. But, 
she was trying to be sneaky. She didn't think they knew, but I felt as though they knew. And a little while after that, Nasir came to me and was like, everybody know. Everybody know. And actually, Deke told me they know. Because Deke told me everything that happened between him and Sanai. Everything that happened, he told me. Before Sanai even told me, Deke told me. He told me everything. So one day, I just felt like, like Sanai was doing a little too much. Being a friend that I am, I felt like Sanai was doing a little bit too much. So I pulled her to the side while I was in school. And I'm like, I think you should just chill off him because he do have a girlfriend. You know that. Boom. So, you know, she, we're having a sentimental, sentimental, I think I said it right. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Moment. So she was like, I'm going to leave Deke alone. I'm going to, she said, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave him alone. I'm gonna, not going to talk to him. Mind you, if I remember correctly, Deke told Sanaya that he loved her. And Sanaya showed me. And I told her, he don't love you. I said it. I said, he don't love you. Boom. So, the next day rolled around. And, you know, I was wondering where Sanai was at or where she was going. Like, what was going on? And she told, she ended up, text, like, she was texting big late, mind you. As I said, how close we was, I know when something is up. Her texting me back hours late and all that stuff like that. She finally texted me back. She said, I went to go see Deke. What? Okay. I'm like, why did so now I'm feeling some type of way. Not only that because matter of fact, matter of fact, before she even told me, well, before she even told me or around like the same time, it was a few minutes in between when he told me, Deke told me that she was over there. So she ended up telling me like not too long after that and was like, yeah, I went to go to Deke's house. Mind you, Deke told me all the, like, he gave me all the scoop, everything that went down, everything. So I'm like, why you go over there? She like, she had to get a charger. I don't remember specifically, but I, I feel like she said she forgot her charger over there. So I'm like, over, oh, you know what I'm saying, y'all? And she like, no, I just went to go pick up my charger. It's done. So I'm like, okay. Is done. So mind you, Deke and I, Sarah, do not go to our school. Only person that went to our school was, um, what I say his name was, Jamir. Jamir went to our school. So you know, in my school, we had in the morning. If you got there like a little early, well, not early, but say classes started at seven thirty, you got there like seven fifteen, seven o'clock. They put you in the um the gym. So everybody in the gym on the bleachers eating muffins and shit. Da, da, da. And Jamara coming there and you know, you know, I don't know, like everybody know when they peep vibes, like something is off. Like if you really pay attention, you can really tell when the vibe is off or something is off and da da da. So Jamara coming there and he pulled some girl to the side that I was cordial with. We was you at the time um we gonna call her Kaylani so Jamara pulls Kaylani to the side and you know they talking over there they whispering I don't like that they whispering so I'm like what the fuck and they they looking at something on the front all in the corner da 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 then they look at me they laughing and shit so I'm like, what's going on? I'm not really gonna press it, but I wanna know what's going on. So boom, it's the bell ring, everybody, it's time to go to class. Me and Kaylani got to the same class together. And the girl she was talking to, she was with, we all had the same class together. So they sitting like, it's me and Sanaya table, and then it's them, they table, they sit on the two tables over here. So they tell me, Kaylani actually, actually decided to tell me nobody else was going to tell me well i didn't know if anybody else was going to tell me but kimani told me to tell me right then my sister and i didn't come in that morning well she did but she came late so mind you now the, the whole class already know i'm lost in the sauce kimani tells me well she shows me the video and i'm like 
basically, all right, the video was an exposed video. I'm gonna just put it right here. And it was like, here I go trying to like, go around it, like that's not her, like, but the more I'm looking at it, it's the more like, it's no getting around it, like everybody going with her. So I'm like, so, they, so basically me and came out and had my conversation, and she telling me like, I should, I'm, I have to tell my friend what's going on. And da da da. So, of course I was already, but you know, that's not something you could just blurt out. And then I didn't want her to see it, like, take it as, like, I'm bullying her or nothing or judging her. So, yeah, she came in late. When she came in, the whole class, the whole class, like, just stopped. Like, everybody just looking at so, you know, she just thinks it's a regular day. So she like, what well, everybody looking at, you know, all this other stuff. So, so, boom. Get down to business. I'm gonna try and speed it up because it's already been like 15 minutes. So, boom. Um, I tell her, she crying, everybody. Now, now the whole school know. Mind you, I feel some type of way because I feel like, why, how, first of all, in my head, I'm like, while she's crying, I'm trying to put the mask together. If she did that with Deke, how did Jamari get it? And why did Jamari feel as though to send it out? I mean, at the time we was kids, the boys gonna be boys, cool, boom, by the name of But what? Like, so that means, so that means basically Deke did it. So they came up, the boys came up out of Deke, Jamari, and Nasir. They all came up with this BS story talking about oh no somebody took it out of somebody's phone and sent it to the group chat and the uh, not the cap <laughs> <laughs> not the cap right now the cap bunch of nonsense bunch of BS I don't know if it's the truth or not but it sounds like BS to me so I'ma just call I'ma call it how I see it so you know not too long after that because of what tonight was doing remember I told y'all I tried to tell her that she was doing too much not too long after that, another one came out. So, you know, back in the day, it was like birds of a feather flock together. You get it? And that's how everybody mindset was back then. Birds of a feather flock together. Especially when it came down to girls. So, me, I was like, mind you, not too long after that, I, I, something else came out about her. So I was like, I'm not gonna not be her friend because she made a few mistakes, but I'm gonna relax off of her because I'm not trying to get that name because of what you did to yourself. You get what I'm saying? But she was taking it as, I'm, she was taking it as I'm not a real friend. And then mind you, girls that didn't, that wasn't messing with her at the time, they was talking about her, they was. And I'm not gonna lie, they was, and I was with them. But even, she, even the girls that was talking about her will tell you, when they was talking trash about her, I told them to stop. I told them to chill. I said, don't do this. And they even told her that. And she still was like, she still was, oh, she fake, da 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 and all that stuff like that. So, at the end of the day, I'm like, how I'm fake? Because of what you're doing. And then she said, now you don't want to be friends with me. Blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, I'm not jeopardizing my name. I'm not getting looked at like that because of what you're doing. And I warned you already. And then you tried to hide it from me because you wasn't going to tell me. Deke told me. You wasn't going to tell me. And I told you to stop. You don't listen. Now, when they talk about you, I'm going to say something. I'm going to step up because you're my friend. Boom. But what am I supposed to do? I'm, you know what I'm saying? They don't talk about you when I'm around. And if so, boom, it was a situation with another girl that I had. Me and the other girl was about to fight. I'm not, I don't even feel like finding our name for her, but me and the girl was about to fight. And mind you, me and Sanai was still calling each other sisters. So, mind you, the way the whole fight situation was by, was set up, the girl came to me with a, with the whole, I promise y'all, I wouldn't even lie to y'all, the a whole classroom, a whole um, cafeteria outside my classroom for me. So I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I went outside. I went outside the classroom. Boom! Put my scarf on. Where's the night? 
So now you come out there with her skirt, but the first thing she do is pull out her camera. If you're supposed to be my sister, I'm not pulling out no camera for no. And then I see all these girls out here, all these girls out here to fight you. I'm not pulling out no camera. I'm tying up my shit, and I'm yes, but. So boom, that was the first strike for me. Second, second strike. Um, after that, I cooled off her for real, like. I just wasn't speaking to her. It wasn't no beef or nothing, but I really was mad about that. So I wasn't speaking to her. Second, this boy, I asked, it was, um, mind you, during all that, I had stopped talking to, um, Nasser. And I started, like, speaking. Like, we was, we was texting and all that in school, you know. I was. We was just talking. A little school boo. We didn't see each other in every school method. It was just a little school boo. So, we was talking, whatever. But mind you, she knew that I was talking to him, I was feeling him, he was feeling me. He told me, when I, we in the hallway one time, we in the, we in the stairwell just talking, he like, yeah, you still cool tonight? So I'm like, but he's like, you still cool tonight? And I'm like, yeah, we still cool. He like, oh, alright, never mind. I'm like, what? He like, nothing, I don't want to start nothing. So now, what, what is it? Tell me, you not starting nothing? He like, alright about his handy dandy cellular device and he showed me he like look i'm like reading the messages she going at him like she basically was showing her shot talking about you not doing this you not doing that and he was like what am i supposed to be doing like curving her like because he was confused the same way i would have been confused because that's your friend that's your sister what are you doing Anyway, I'm like, okay, but oh, man, I'm heated. I'm heated. My dude was my sister. You gonna pay for me? For a boy? Never. I was heated. Went to the classroom. You out of pocket. Bitch, I wanna fight. What's up? She's like, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm snapping. I'm like, get up, get up. I'm like, get up, get up, get up. Mind you, I was the type to like, Beat on the bike, like, you I'm like, get up, get up. She's not getting up, so, boom. I don't really remember what he made today, but we got to fight. Walked away, and now I'm telling my mom about the situation. I'm telling my mom, my mom is like, okay, so just stay with my girl, because it's us. Now, now it's beef. Like, now, now it's beef. I went to her in front of everybody. I said, I'm going to fight. She didn't get up. Everybody calling her turkey. And she was always with this one girl. And she made the door that one girl too. Make that so I made door her for, for a boy. So and anyways, at the time they was it was just them two. And so it was like my this whole situation was going on for months. Like, like, so one day, like, it was always, like, little stuff, like, oh, she can say, she can stuff, or something like that. And one day in the cafeteria, I had went up there the lunch line to get something, and I think I bust in front of her, or bust in front of them, or whatever like that. And I was a kid on the line, and I did what I wanted to do, I did what I wanted to do, I did what I to do, so get to it. But, um, I wasn't even paying on the line. It don't matter if it was them there or anybody else there. I still can bust. But I went there. And um, somebody came up to me. It was like, it was something he said. She said stuff. So I'm like, what? Now I'm shaking. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm at the cafeteria. Freak me all. Get mad. Like, I ain't gonna lie, they was getting in my head a little bit. Cause I wasn't really worried about her, but I already was mad. So them just saying stuff that I already knew about was making me even madder at the time. So the instigator, I'ma just sit in. Like she wasn't an instigator, but she went and said everything I said to, about her went over there and told her. I don't care, I'm gonna stand on what I said. She went over there and told her, boom. She came back and was like, mind you, I'm mad, I'm still heated. 
Oh, yeah, she's serving up. What did he say? I said, she said, what? She said, they like, she's serving up. I'm like, babe. Put my little boys at the game. I just walked over there, and she was sitting, like, it was a little chair, and she was sitting on the side of the chair like this. And I'm like, what's up? You serving up? Man, no, I was walking, I'm like,